Snake Trouble by Ruskin Bond My grandparents and I were going to Lucknow by train and so we couldn't take any unusual pets with us. Shortly after we boarded the train, grandmother said, I'll go to sleep. If you're hungry, you can help yourselves to food from the hamper under the berth. I dragged the hamper out and untied the straps. In the hamper was a python, curled up contentedly, and no dinner. It is the python, I said, and it has finished all our dinner. Nonsense, said grandfather. Pythons like their food alive. Why? This is an old hamper which was in the storeroom. The one with our food must have been left behind. Grandfather snapped the hamper shut and pushed it back beneath the berth. A little after midnight, there were cries of snake, snake. At the end of the corridor, I looked under the berth. The hamper was open. The python's out, I said. And grandfather dashed out of the compartment. There's a huge snake inside the washroom. A passenger said. Grandfather and I entered the washroom together. But there was no sign of the python. When we got back to our compartment, Grandmother was sitting up on her berth. You told me that you had left the creature behind. And all the time it was with us on the train? She scolded. It's gone. So you'll never see it again, said Grandfather. It must have fallen out of the washroom window. Even as he spoke, the train came to a grinding halt. No station here, said Grandfather, looking out of the window. Together we hurried towards the engine. Grandfather said to the engine driver, Anything I can do to help? I know all about engines. But the engine driver was speechless. The python had curled itself around his legs. Grandfather dragged the python off the driver and dumped the snake in my arms. The engine driver sank down to the floor pale and shaking with fear. I think I would better drive the train, said Grandfather. And before the driver could protest, Grandfather had set the engine in motion.